Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to create one-to-one -one relationships in Flask SQL Alchemy. So I've talked about how to create one-to-many relationships in Flask SQL Alchemy before on this channel, but never one-to-one. -one. And it turns out they're very similar and there's really only one small difference to make a one-to-many relationship a one-to-one -one relationship. And the reason why you all wanna use a one-to-one -one relationship is generally when you are extending the idea of something. So instead of having one table that represents one idea, uh, you can extend it. So for example, you can have a user table, which has stuff like their email address, their password, uh, the date that they signed up. And then you can also have a profile table, which will belong to just one user. But this profile table has extra information like their age, their location, maybe a picture, or any other information that will go in a profile for that particular user. So you could put all that in a user table, but if you decided to break up the idea of a single person on your website, then you can have a user table and a profile table linked through a one-to-one -one relationship. So it just depends on how you're designing your data model. So in this video, I'm about to show you how to do it in Flask SQL Alchemy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two tables and I'll just name them parent and child. And I'll give the parents an ID column. So db.column, the primary key. And then the child table is actually going to be very similar except the name is going to be child. So in a normal parent-child relationship, we all know a single parent can have multiple children, but when you're dealing with a one-to-one -one relationship, then a parent can only have one child because of the one-to-one -one nature. It's not one-to-many anymore, it's just one-to-one. -one. So even though I'm naming them parent-child, it's still going to be a one-to-one -one relationship. So I'll give each a name column just so we can see what's going on. And I'll put that under child as well. And then I'll go ahead and create the relationship. So I'll say child is DB relationship, pass in the name of the table, child. And then I'll create the foreign key. So integer column and then DB dot foreign key. It's referencing parent dot ID and then I can also add the back reference here, which allows me to add a parent to a child instead of just a child to a parent. So I'll say back reference equals parent. And to make this a one-to-one -one relationship instead of a one-to-many like it is now, the only thing I have to do is add the use list parameter and set it to false. So use lists you can think of as a list of children. So if you don't have a list, then you can only have one child and that's what makes it a one-to-one -one relationship. So I'll give this a better name, example.db, and I'll go ahead and actually create it. So from app import db, and then db create all. And then I can open it up here in my database browser. And we see that the child table has the foreign key, and then the parent table is just a plain parent table. So now I'll import those two tables to add some data. So from app import parent and child, I'll create a parent. So parent equals, let's say name equals parent, and then child equals child, name equals child one, and then parent, so that back reference equals parent. And then I'll add both to the database. Okay, so now if I look at the data, let's see, refresh. I have one record in the child table. So we see the ID is one, the name is child one, and the parent ID is one, and then one parent. So what happens if I add another child with that same parent? So we have a one-to-one -one relationship, but I'm going to try to add two parent or two children to the same parent. So I'll create a new child. So child two equals child name, child two, parent equals parent. I'll add this to the database and then I'll commit. And open it so I can kind of refresh it. And now I see the two 
I see the two rows in here, but child one no longer has parent ID of one. It's child two. So what it's doing is anytime you add a new child and it has a parent that already belongs to some other child, it updates it so the latest thing has that parent. So it's not going to allow you to have multiple records with the same parent ID. Now, of course, if you went in your database and modified it directly, you could technically, but Flash SQL Alchemy isn't going to do that. So if you're using Flash SQL Alchemy as a way to add parts of the one-to-one -one relationship, then you don't have to worry about anything. If you do think you'll go through the database to make it a little safe, you can say something like uh, the foreign key is unique. So only one child could have a parent. So if two child records try to have the same parent, then the database will throw an error. So as you can see, it's very easy to get set up and you see what Flash SQL Alchemy takes care of for you. So if you ever wanna have that relationship in your data model, this is how to do it. It's as simple as adding use list equals false. So if you like this video, I have more videos on Flash SQL Alchemy on my website prettyprintit.com. I have a free course called Flash SQL Alchemy Basics. It has a bunch of videos on how to do things in Flash SQL Alchemy, so you should check that out. If you like this video, uh, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the video, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching, and I will talk to you next time.